Welcome back. Now your view menu, which is the next menu over, is basically going to show you what your document is going to look like when you're printing, as well as give you some alternatives to viewing your data in real time. So for example, if we want to know what our data is going to look like when we print it, all we'll need to do is to go to our page layout. And this will show us what we'll actually be printing. And we can make our spreadsheet usable in ways that makes it easy for us to work with our data. So for example, let's assume that you have information that's off the screen, but you want to match it up with a column that you already have on the left side. One of the things you can do is you can use the split command. And so what we're going to do is we're going to place our cursor at this point in the column. We're then going to click the split command. We're then going to place our cursor here. And what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to go all the way over to the right. And then we're not going to have to change this information. We're going to be able to see this data versus the column that we have all the way on the left side. Now to take the split off, all we have to do is, is click the split button. We can do the very same thing with rows. So we can place our cursor inside of the row. We can then click the split command. And then we can work with our data in that way. We can freeze our panes. So for example, one thing we can do is we can take this top column. We can then go to freeze panes and then we can freeze the top row. And then what we can do is we can then scroll all the way to the bottom. What this allows us to do is this allows us to see our heading versus the data at the bottom of the very worksheet. Of course, in addition to working with the rows, we can also work with columns. Now macros will allow us to record repeated activity. So we record a macro. What we're doing is we're recording something that we do over and over again so that we can use that same process automatically if we have to start another spreadsheet and we're going to be doing the very same thing. Now this is a bit of a complex process, but it's one that will make sense as you begin to use Excel more. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.